Okay, if you got your calculators out and figured uh, the tangent of half of delta, tangent of 40, and multiplied the radius by that, that tangent is equal to 0 0.8390999631. And it's just plain confusing that we use the tangent value of that angle and call that the tangent, but you just have to put up with it because that's the way it is. And it's confusing, but you can live with it. Anyway, uh, we came up with a value of 1006.92 and we've got a right triangle. So, to figure this distance here, all we do is take uh, this squared equals radius squared plus tangent squared, uh, which gives us 1566 point what? 49 or 1566 and a half roughly. So anyway we've got that distance figured and we'll use that to check some of our other work. Now we need to get a distance from here to here if we're going to use that and uh, son of a gun best way to do that is to create more right triangles. So going from here to here You've got four right triangles, or something that looks a whole lot like the kind of kite you used to make when you were a kid, if people still make kites uh, when they're kids. Anyway, you've got uh, four right angles here, four right triangles formed by them, and they all kind of look alike because they're, you know, part of the same figure. Uh, anyway, you know that based on the fact that this angle is 100 degrees, this angle is 80, this angle here, half of that is 40. This is a right triangle, therefore this angle is 50. Uh, kind of getting ahead of myself, but anyway, uh, you also know that this is a right angle here, so this angle must be 40. Save that information for later. Uh, we have uh, let's see, we're going for, uh, first off, we're going for this length here. So, uh, the, uh, going for the long chord distance. And uh, the way we do it, first off, is we figure this. So, this distance here. Uh, is equal to twice of whatever we're going to get, or the long chord is equal to twice that distance anyway. It's 1,200 times the sine of one-half delta, 40, times 2. So why are we using that? Because we know this distance and we know that figure. And this is the hypotenuse, and that's the opposite. So what does Oscar tell you? Oscar tells you that the opposite over the hypotenuse gives you the sine. We know the, the value of this, so therefore uh, this number here, radius times the sine of one half delta times two gives you 771.345. Multiply that by two and you get that distance, which is 15. 42.69. So now you've got this isosceles triangle solved because this side is equal to that side. And uh, now, what are we going to do? Well, if you are a surveyor, you're sitting there waiting to stake out to the end of the curve. You've already got this one figured by the distance. You know where this point of tangency is and you're just itching to get your field crew working, so you backsight this, the PI, and you set up there, and how do you calculate the angle and the distance to this point, which is on that line, uh, the, this tangent line, and well, it is the tangent, or it's equal to the angle for setting this point, half of the delta angle, which we already figured out was 40, and the distance is 1542.69. So now you've got that figure 
figured out. And I believe I'm going to need to put on some more tape. So uh, we've got this calculated. We've got that calculated. Uh, we've got a bunch of right triangles. We haven't even started on the curve yet, but we will. And we'll be back in a minute and work on the exercises that I give you.